Bro, she's more passive aggressive than Jonah Hill was to Jay, and this is the end. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching You, Season 3, Episode 2. Now, in the last episode, I made a prediction on what I think is going to happen, but I was right and then I was wrong, okay? What do you mean? I got the prediction right, but I was wrong in the sense of that it would happen throughout the entire season. Um, it happened in the entire- it happened all in one episode, so that's interesting. Okay, so what the fuck could happen next? I think Sherry's gonna be pretty involved in what happens going forward. They probably end up killing her at some point. Everyone we were introduced to at like Sherry's party, I feel like we're gonna end up killing at some point. <laughs> Not sure why, but I feel like it's gonna happen somehow, one way or another. So, but I'm excited to see what happens. So, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership. Click the join button down below. So, anyways, let's get started. Hey, you okay? Chill. I think I need to go to couples therapy. So, what brings you in? He's not gonna react well. He's gonna be pissed. What did you do? What did you do? I caught him cheating. But nothing happened. If anything, she came on to me. You kept the box, Joe. I know what that means. I know you. Technically, I didn't cheat. Actually did a terrible thing, but I can't say what she did, so I'm the villain. Nah, keeping the box is still a pretty terrible thing. That's it's fucking weird. Like, don't, don't do that. I get passionate. Mm. <laughs> Trackable, traceable phone. Did you even stop to think about that before you buried an axe in our neighborhood? Right up. We have no. We, we have no time. There's no time. I'm not corner, and I was trying to protect our family. Let me focus. <laughs> Damn. Checked out. Going through the motions, and it's like, why? Why isn't his heart in it? Textbook. She'd rather make it about me and Henry than look at her part in all this. Happy, and she kills herself. <laughs> With an axe. <laughs> Never to be found. Never to be autopsied. There's a state forest. Mm. 30 minutes from here. The Redwoods, right? Because that works so well with Candace. Yeah, well, Candace wasn't actually dead. Not only is. Pretty sure they shot Return of the Jedi in that forest, too. Like the Endor scene. All the scenes on Endor. Pretty sure. I know they shot it in a forest in San Francisco. But I don't know if it's the same forest Joe's talking about. Shit. Okay. You know, in LA, there was this man named Jasper, and, and he needed to disappear. Hey, what did he do? Down into smaller parts. How? With like a saw? Yes. Also. Or Dexter's ass. You know, eventually it had to be, in the end, a, a meat grinder was the way to get him. Oh, in a novel. In a novel? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, oh, she's oh, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? I use that thing all the time! What? <laughs> Hey, we, we're not there anymore. We don't, we're not, we're not there anymore. Who cares? You can deal with Natalie. You care more about her than your own son anyway. Bro. I was wrong, Natalie. I thought you were a threat to my marriage. But the real problem with my marriage is my fucking wife. <laughs> <laughs> know how to communicate healthily. It's because it was never modeled for you. Oh, funny, it's already blamed the parents o'clock. I don't think this fight has anything to do with Joe so-called cheating. She does. Mm, well, actually, I, I'd like to hear from Joe first. She would? Maybe she can sense the inequity here. Because she knows love's not going to be fair about it. And how did that make you feel? Fuck love. Fuck her. <laughs> fuck this. Fuck whoever made these little fucking bags. Who the fuck is that little... <laughs> He's so mad. No, she knows what I've done. She knows me. Fuck marriage. <sighs> Natalie. This is the story of your disappearance. 30 minutes out on the border of the state forest. Well, your stuff will make it to the cabin. You simply disappear. Hey, the Tesla has cameras on it, too. All the sensor cameras or whatever. Our tech husband could check these cameras. Oh, my wife went missing. Let me check the car cameras, you know? Boom. He could probably do it remotely, too. Find some magically perfect place to leave you forever. Gonna bury her. Burying you in the woods is the best I've got. If this isn't me, I put this behind no, me. No, I changed. It's 100% still here, bro. My bags, taking Henry and getting the fuck out. Damn, with what money, Joe? You have absolutely You're no going money. To leave me? 
Oh shit. Love, you must listen. I, I am. Why does everybody think I'm impulsive? Because you are. <laughs> everybody. Mm. You know. I told you the Quinn family finances are in flux right now. We we'll can't guarantee I can help you with a lease. Mm. This is a three year lease with a huge deposit. And I would have told you if you'd taken the time to ask. <sighs> Love, yeah. is this another one of your episodes? Oh, instead of making an impulsive decision. It's, you know, it all feels a tad impulsive. Um, I'm Theo, by the way. Here. I am. I am. And you are new Dude. in town. They have he looks really familiar as an actor, but I don't recognize him. The closest thing I can think of is Adam Driver. <laughs> new baby. New bakery. Bang and body. Just, uh, you're just doing it all. Bro, you're not smooth. You have no game. What were you feeling when this stranger paid you so much attention? Guilty. Because it felt so good. And I'm really sad. Because you're not getting it from Jen. That from a stranger? I wanted that from my husband. A victim again. Masterful. Oh, what's this? Tell me I shouldn't fuck the boring neighbor. Oh, that's tough. Boring neighbor? Is that all I was to you? Yeah. Is that all you were? A restless housewife, a stereotype? Maybe love was right about you. No, no, no. Dude, Joe goes back and forth in his head so much. He, he's like so convinced of one thing, but then it takes the littlest argument for the other side because he's he's not convinced on either way. He's not convinced either way, you know, so the littlest argument will sway him completely. Is that bad? You want me to tell you whether or not you sh The truth is the easiest thing is to end this marriage. Mm. Either one of you have the power to do it from now until death, and that takes a lot of will and mm. something both of you are willing to fight for. Watch, love's gonna end it before Joe can. No, what is it? I like love's mannerisms. Just a side hustle, though. Bingo. Hi. Welcome. The Thank only thing you. worse than a kid's party is a rich kid's party. Damn. Yo, Joe! <laughs> Let's get you drunk! Stop. But seriously, how drunk do you want to be for this? <laughs> Very. Watching the baby, and Dottie has a bit of an expiration time. Alcohol? Pills. It's no judgment. I could only imagine what she's been through. Bro, that's passive aggressive as fuck. Cute little spot on Main Street. I love that. So brave. I'm sure you've heard that spot hasn't had much success, but oh. never had you, mama. Bro, she's more passive aggressive than Jonah Hill was to Jay, and this is the end. They're lemon raspberry. I'm not really a fan of lemon or raspberry. Well. Oh, well, you don't have to fucking eat them. Then. Oh, I'm well. fasting. Already hit my, I'm fasting, I already hit my macros. Oh my god. I want the best for my son. No denying this beats a group home. TEDx, the fuck? Doing a TED talk here? The fuck? Things I've learned in the past 10 minutes ejaculating too much can deplete focus. So Carrie patented a method for injaculating. Nah, bro, fuck semen retention. The kids there. You and Henry should join sometime. It's fun. We can carpool. Maybe. I'd rather lose another finger than carpool with Mormon Neville Longbottom. So far, nothing about Neville Longbottom, bro. How are you gonna do him like that? Mormon Neville Longbottom? <laughs> bro, Neville's way too handsome to be compared to this guy. Completely spiked their blood sugar, love. No, Sherry, they're sugar free. They're sugar and raspberries. And we don't let them eat fruit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Seriously, though, don't even worry about it. Check this out. I got the twins wearing those vital rings of Matthews. Matthew. Heart rates and blood sugar. Totally normal. Hmm. Do, does this have GPS? Oh, oh, just, oh, Natalie has one. Natalie has to have one on. She had to have one. We all one. wear them. No. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. If Matthew has access to Natalie's ring, he'll be able to see exactly where she is right now. Ugh. Yeah, the body's gonna be so fucking run. <laughs> Yeah. Why does she, why does she look like that? She's decomposing. I had to remove her teeth. Oh yeah, that's right. So they can't find out who she is. Dental records. Yeah. Where did you put them? Don't. The teeth. I just yeah. don't want to find them in a hidey hole in my house. Or something. Yeah. You won't. It's safer if you don't know. Yeah. I can't get it off. Just take the yeah. shovel and just fucking get her fingers off. Start with Henry. I can oh, handle God. it, George. Ah. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. Well, like, oh, uh, that's fucking gross. It's cracked. 
That might, that maybe that's good. It, it could have just broken. Bro, I'm taking every ring off of her now. But what if it didn't? Still have to move. The body can't be in the same place. But the ring died, so yeah. just. Oh, that's fucking great. I put the ring on the sink so it looked like she took it off when she washed her hands. You said we needed a permanent solution. We're on the edge of town. They're pouring a foundation tomorrow. Under a slab of cement is pretty permanent today, so I looked into it. This is a backup plan. How many of those do you have, Joe? <laughs> Drive around making mental notes of... Yes. Good places to disappear, people. Yes. Considering who I'm married to, yeah. How did you get rid of her so fast? H how did you know where to go? Bro, I've been there, done that. Experience. He's a quick thinker, too. It's quick on his feet. What are you insinuating? But she's insinuating that he's gonna fucking kill her. Get rid of her. He's really quick at it and really good at it, so... She's worried about herself. Why don't you love me anymore? I a fucking hook to my throat. And then I said I was pregnant, and then we just went on and pretended like it didn't happen. No, 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 we didn't, no, we- It's because you killed Peach. It turned him off. Time Fuck ago. Fuck you! Like, like, you have reasons for what you do what you do. <laughs> but when I do it, I'm crazy, right? Yeah. She's a mom now, I guess I can't slit her throat. He's the only reason I'm alive. Mm-hmm. I can't trust you. I can't trust you either. But I have worked hard to be better and I am not that person anymore. No, you don't, you have not worked hard. You just said I'm not, you just make a statement and that's it. Because if I'm not 100% into you all, you will keep killing people. Bro, that's literally you. You'll kill me. You mm. said that out loud. 50% of my married clients want to kill each other. Mm, it's not like that though, but for them. Spouse, you're many things, but you are not murderers. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, yeah, that's their dynamic. If either of them kind of stray off, then one of them is going to kill someone else. Think of any times when you felt as violent as you did toward love in your fight. Oh, many times. <laughs> a few. No, I'm, pregnant. I'm not a violent person. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So what's the feeling under the rage? Abandonment from his bomb. Fear. Fear that... You might be alone. She might leave you. You might be alone. He's unlovable. If someone sees the real me, they'll go away. Except love. What about you, love? When else have you felt the way that Joe makes you feel? <gasps> when I feel protective. What are you fighting to protect? Our family. My family. Why specifically family? Because that's what you do. Things you have in common is fear of abandonment so deep it feels downright kill or be killed. Oh, yeah. Metaphorically speaking. Oh, no, metaphorically speaking. You know what else they don't tell you about teammates? The sex is better. <laughs> it's a passion fueled by the deepest trust, and it's fucking primal. I believe that. Oh, they're gonna go home and fuck. Love knows me better than anyone ever has. I'm starting to understand why that's so terrifying. Joe? Joe! It's, it's a good thing. It's a good... Hey! Yeah. Oh, what, what, what? She said her first word, huh? Look! Huh? Oh, bunnies! I think they're the Shermans. They put up all these lost bunny signs the other day. <laughs> okay, they're definitely the Shermans. And just like that, there you are. The girl, the woman I fell in love with. Mm. Playful. Honest and beautifully, radiantly maternal. I'm such a fool. I've been distant. You love our son, of course, that you you are all in with him. It's I... not just him. It's not just our son. Mm -hmm. All right, the love is back. Love is in the air again. The spark is back. <gasps> Dude, he straight up just nutted in her, bro. He straight up nutted. Not even a glimpse of effort to pull out. I have to tell you something. I would absolutely kill for you. I know. We know. You've proven that. Twice. Love, I would kill for you too. Mm, maybe now you would. Depends. And Henry. Oh, oh, yeah, definitely in Henry. But we'll see if the spark of love is consistent. I promise to never again. I do not believe that. They're both gonna kill again. <laughs> you. Oh, uh, the cage is back! Okay, okay. Oh, we're actually putting it to good use. We're not gonna trap anyone in here. 
It's in the basement of the bakery, yeah. Oh, he's hiding a key in there, huh? Just in case. Just in case. Alright, he's gonna need that later then. For the most part. Putting a key in there or something? Yep. <laughs> Dominate your little corner of this town? I'm gonna find mine. He's gonna work at the bookstore. Yep, show her he can repair the book. And that's gonna be that's gonna be his job here, huh? And help but notice your rare books need some attention, so I have expertise in that area. Oh, so you want a job? Well, you know you need a master's to work in a library, but eh, you probably but nah. Cement is set. We're in the clear. She's been gone for days. He's gotta know by now. I wish I knew what he was thinking. You? No fucking what? No fucking! It's his son. I, uh, I I I own the place. No, you don't. You're the you're his son, bro. Yeah. I brought you some cupcakes. Thank you. Love. This is my son. Theo. Yeah, that's how I thought, bud. <laughs> bro, no way she fucks him. And they're neighbors, so like, no way she ends up fucking Theo. No way. Or Joe kills him. Joe, Theo's probably gonna die. Something's gonna happen. So. They know. Ooh. I think shit's about to hit the fan. We've got this. Let's get it. Together. Well, your neighbors, so they're gonna ask, be like, hey, have you seen her? Have you heard from her? Anything like that. Doesn't mean they're on to you yet, but. All right, but that was episode two. Okay, so I think her neighbor, her neighbor, Theo, I think that kid's dead. I think he's gonna die. I think eventually in the season, Joe kills him because he's obviously trying to fuck love. Whatever, I don't know if she gives in and hooks up with him. I, I'm kind of thinking she doesn't, to be honest. She might though, she could, it's totally possible, but I'm gonna, I'm leaning towards she doesn't. 70, 30, she doesn't. Leaning towards 70%, she doesn't. But I think Joe, I think he might just like annoy the shit out of love though, and then she'll tell Joe or something. Or Joe will kind of catch him being a fucking creep and Joe won't have to get rid of him, so. I think something like that would happen could happen for sure now like the cops showing up about natalie they're, they're probably okay it, next episode it's either going to be about something completely irrelevant not about Nat natalie at all or they're just going to be like hey yo have you seen her you're her neighbor have you heard from her blah blah we la her last known location was here whatever right it's going to be like something like that like, you're not suspects just yet so like they're not onto you like that so but yeah, the cage is back. Um, they put it in the basement of the bakery, so okay. It wouldn't be you without the cage, I guess. <laughs> they're probably no. They're, okay, well first they're gonna trap Theo in the cage. Maybe he like catches on that they killed Natalie or something. Maybe he catches on. I don't know. I think before Theo dies, he'll definitely be thrown in the cage. He might be the first person they throw in the cage, to be honest, of the season. Or what if they throw the cops in the cage because they're actually onto him? Nah, there's no way, there's no way. Yeah, I think they'll probably have to kill Matthew, the neighbor, too. But yeah, we had a nice couples therapy session in here. I guess the spark of love is back. I guess Joe is in love with her again. He feel His feelings for her are back. I don't know, he just didn't like the fact that she was like him. And that turned him off because he obviously resents this side of himself. He wants to abandon this side of himself like his mom abandoned him. But he obviously can't. This side of him still haunts him. He's always, he's been saying for the last two seasons, that's not me anymore. I'm different. I'm better now, blah, blah. We all know that's a lie. And so we all know this side of him will never leave. But yeah, he just doesn't like how love is pretty much the same way. That's why he was going to try and kill her before she said I'm pregnant. And then now obviously say, he spared her life for the baby and everything. But okay, we'll just see. We'll see if this love is consistent. But yeah, that was you. Season three, episode two. Comment down below. Just thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.